Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're gonna have a look at how to add the date range filter and how to set it up that way that it will be filtering the products or publications, pulling out the dates from the matter field. Like that. So, what do we need to do first? Is to make sure that you've got your post type, custom post type or the meta box created where you have the meta field that contains the date right the custom meta field that contains the date that you set manually like i do have one in the custom post type called events so i'll show it to you real quick here it goes and i've got the date meta field and here it goes there is the name which we're going to need later and the type is date and if I go to this custom post type and show one of the events to you, let's say this one. You see that here in the Metabox date, I've set the date manually. So that's it that you're going to need all the preparational steps. Now what we're going to do is to jump and create the smart filter. So click add new. So I've set up the labels and the name for the filter and in the filter type you go and you select the date range type and filter by. You've got two options in there as you can guess you need the metadata option because the post date if you choose the post date this filter is going to filter the publications or products based on the date of the publication. So the day when you post it this um, publication or product and uh, if you choose the metadata option you then need to go to the next field which is called query variable and you need to paste the id or the name which is also called a name of that meta field that contains the date that date that you set manually for every single publication so in my case it was date here it goes and i'll click publish so I have created the uh, filter that I need. Now I need to create a listing for the events to later display them in the listing grid or in the calendar. I'm going to be working with the calendar and I've already got the listing created. So I'll jump right in the Elementor editor where I have already added the calendar. So you see that it is filled in with the events. Here we go, and these are the events that we're going to filter. So let's jump to the elements panel and search for the date range filter. I'll drop it in the same section with the calendar. And I'm going to select the filter, which is called metadata filter tutorial. And this filter for jet engine calendar. And that's pretty much it. We do not need to apply any other changes. The only thing you need to do is to click update and go and have a look at the preview. So we're there in the preview and if we've done everything the right way, we're going to be able to filter these events. So I suggest we filter from the 9th of November till the November 18th. So we're only going to see these three posts that fall under this date range. So. I'll go ahead and set up the date and then I'll click apply and here we are. This is how you set up the date range filter and this is how you filter your publications or products based on the date from the meta fields. So as easy as that, I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching. 